The personal savings rate in the United States is heartbreakingly low at 3.6% as of February 2024. More than 50% of Americans making over $100,000 are living paycheck to paycheck. These low savings rates are especially saddening when it's happening for reasons beyond their control. The government created high inflation and forced us to be broke and so we have to be smarter with our money out of need. Not because we want to, but because we have to. So with that, let's get straight to the point and go over the extreme frugal hacks that I personally use myself to save over $10,000 per year versus someone who doesn't use these frugal hacks. So the number one extreme frugal hack is to just be yourself. If our friends are out in a great and beautiful vacation out in Europe, then good for them. There's no need to look at their picture perfect vacation in Instagram or Facebook and think, I need to have that for myself too. There's also no need to buy the latest and greatest technology even if others are. When you do things because others are doing it, you're losing sight of who you actually are. You're losing your identity. It's one thing to buy because it makes us happy, but it's another to buy because others are doing it. At that point, it's not even about saving money. It's about saving your identity and who you are as a person. This one extreme frugal hack can save between $1,000 to $10,000 per year for doing nothing more than just being yourself. The second extreme frugal hack is to cut your rent expenses in half by getting a roommate or living with somebody else. According to a Pew Research study, almost one in three adults live with at least one other adult roommate. Yes, it's a little unfair that millennials and Gen Z and the younger folks have to live with somebody else just to be able to afford to live. But unfair or not, getting a roommate is still a great option to split that housing cost with somebody else. I pay just $800 a month for my apartment, which is a very nice two-story townhome that I got a great deal on. Housing costs doesn't have to be expensive, even during these days. There's always hidden gem deals in every single city that no one really takes advantage of for some reason. I lived across the country in Birmingham, Alabama, Houston, Texas, and Austin, Texas, and there's always hidden gem deals every single city that I lived in. Even if you live in a really big city, there's always great deals that no one really takes advantage of. So this extreme frugal hack of living with a roommate can save between $1,000 to $10,000 per year in housing costs. Extreme frugal hack number three, pay 10 to 15% less than everybody else. So what I do when I have to buy anything is I buy discounted gift cards through Raise for between five to 30% off. And link is in the description below if you wanna check it out. Then I use a credit card to buy those discounted gift cards for an additional 3% off. Then I use cashback websites like Rakuten for an additional one to 15% cashback on my purchase. Link is also in the description below below if you want to check it out. Oh, and I'm not done. Then finally, I look up coupon codes on the internet to see if I can save even more money on my purchase. This saves between 15 to 35% on purchases, if not more. On a $20,000 yearly spending, that's an additional $3,000 to $6,000 that ends up in your pocket that you wouldn't have had otherwise. This is my most well-kept extreme frugal hack that I've never really told anybody about about except for you guys. Very few people know about this extreme frugal hack. Extreme frugal hack number four, never buy a new car. I drive a 2017 Nissan sedan that has 92,000 miles on it. I bought for $13,000 all in with cash at the height of the pandemic bubble when used cars were the most expensive. Buying new would have costed me above $20,000 to spend just on transportation alone. That's way too much to spend on transportation. Buying new cars isn't just more expensive in general but we also pay between 10 to 20% of the car's purchase price right when we drive it off the lot through a process called depreciation. Buying a new car just isn't worth it. So this extreme frugal hack of not buying a new car can save between $1,000 to $5,000. Extreme frugal hack number five, buy in bulk from Costco or Sam's Club. Yes, buying in bulk 
can be a double-edged sword in which we actually buy more than what we eventually use. But for those who are actually financially disciplined, buying in bulk can be a great extreme frugal hack that so few take advantage of. The dirty little secret with these wholesale clubs like Sam's or Costco is that they make very little profit from the products that they sell. They make money from the memberships that they sell. So any product that we actually do buy from these wholesale clubs, we can be rest assured that we are not not overpaying for the products that we buy. So this extreme frugal hack of buying in bulk can save between $1,000 to $3,000 per year, which is well worth the membership price of $60 a year. Extreme frugal hack number six, want less things. The government loves it when we believe that our ideal life is when we buy and own the most amount of stuff. They don't want us to know the real truth of what our actual ideal life is, which is when we are happy and content with what we already have. The magic isn't in having more things that we want. The magic is in loving and being grateful for the things that are already in our lives. Think about it, when we were cavemen, we didn't need the latest iPhone or the fanciest cars. But somewhere along the way, we lost a way to live naturally and just with what we need. With this extreme frugal hack of just wanting less things, we can easily save between $1,000 to $3,000 per year. Extreme frugal hack number seven, find cheaper alternatives. There's always a cheaper version out there. If you want entertainment, instead of dressing up to go to the movies, we can just watch Netflix. Instead of joining a gym to just go on the treadmill, we can just go to the park. In this world, there's always a way to buy the same product with the same quality with the only difference being a lower price. Yes, it takes a little bit of work to find out, but there's always a way. At the most extreme level, we start our own farm and grow chicken and cows and grow our own food and vegetables. When it comes to buying, we never buy the cheapest price that we could have bought it for. We just buy the lowest price that we're okay paying because the cost of trying to find a cheaper alternative is higher than the money that we'll be able to save by finding that cheaper alternative. It may cost us more time, more attention, it may even cost us more money to find the cheaper price. So this extreme frugal hack of just finding cheaper alternatives can save between a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars per year. A counterintuitive frugal hack number eight is to never buy the cheapest option but actually pay for the higher price. There's a complete difference between price and value and value is what matters in the long run. One example is when I bought a used iPhone 10 for $200 off of eBay. I thought it was a great deal. It worked fine for just one year, but after that one year, the phone stopped working because the battery went out. That was an expensive lesson. I ended up just buying the newest iPhone 14 for $800 after that. It's been over one year since I bought the new iPhone 14 and it's been working great so far with no issues. We can't be a penny wise and pound foolish. So the extreme frugal hack of actually buying the higher priced item can save between $100 to $1,500 per year. Extreme frugal hack number nine is to buy out of season. A winter jacket in June costs less than a winter jacket in December. Things that can be bought out of season includes clothes, furniture, school supplies, Christmas decor, barbecue gear, camping gear, and even more. No matter what we do, we always go through the four seasons in a year. Therefore, it's easy to plan for them because the weather changes whether we like it or not. Buying out of season can save between $100 to $1,500 per year if we just plan ahead for the things that we know are gonna happen anyway. Number 10 extreme frugal hack is to find free things to do or to have. It's unbelievable just how many things we can find are actually free. There's the zoo, art museums, free parking, libraries, free samples at Costco, Craigslist, companies giving out free things on your birthday, 
and more. The list is endless and there's surprisingly an unlimited number of things that we can get for free. Even in a capitalistic society that we live in today, every city advertises free things that you can do every weekend. There's even free things we can do every day if we just Google search free things to do in the city. This extreme frugal hack of getting things for free can save between $100 to $1,000 per year. And now I have a bonus extreme frugal hack for you. A bonus extreme frugal hack is to smash that like and subscribe button for more content on saving money, making more money, and personal finance content. I show up every day for you so we can grow our wealth together. But in seriousness, extreme frugal hacks like this puts us further ahead than the ones who doesn't put in the work to save money. We can't be one of those who would rather work one hour to make $50 instead of spending 10 minutes to save the same $50. A penny saved is a penny earned. Saving money is far less work and time consuming than working to make money that's going to get taxed away anyway. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.